My husband, my mother-in-law, and I recently traveled to the California coast for the Monterey Bay Jade Festival, where we connected with our jade industry friends and met some of the most skilled jade carvers in the United States. We shopped, we learned about jade origins and carving techniques, saw incredible collections and specimens, all while taking in beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean and eating delectable seafood. This video is going to walk you through all the remarkable things we saw at the biggest jade festival in the USA. One of the reasons this festival is hosted in California is because Big Sur and Monterey are actually known as an alluvial source of nephrite jade. Divers actually find jade underwater and then carve it and sell it to shoppers from all over the world. This is here, Big Sur Jade here, and it was found only around wow. 45 minutes away from the Jade Festival itself. It's important to note that there are two different gemstones called jade, nephrite jade and jadeite jade, both of which are featured at this event. Near the entrance of the festival was our friend Shane Zack of Freshwater Jade, who has been featured many times on this channel, so we're going to include those links below. Shane sells jade both rough and polished from a wide variety of origins. Oh, oh pyrite! This has pyrite, Hunter. Yeah. You know? Oh, and the genius jade. The top one's all nephrite, and then the bottom one is a mix nephrite and jade. Oh, so, I like you know, how you did that. Oh, of course. Went full nephrite. Okay, we got through it. A couple cool ones. You know? yeah. well, this yeah. looks good. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That's Indonesian. No. Is that cool? I'm obsessed with that. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Shane is well known for having unique jades like this Indonesian rough here and this Siberian Kakasia rough, which is responsible for vivid blue green earrings like these. This vivid green block of nephrite is also from Indonesia, which seems to be a pretty underrated source of jade, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't like it. It's just, yeah, and, and it, I would say, Who are you? We are the Big Sur Jade Company. The actual Big Sur Jade Company. The actual company. Big Sur Jade yes. Company? Oh, I've seen these. Yeah. And I, you guys are legends. Everything Look, I think I need it. Chops. For 8,000 years, history has seen cultures surround jade, whether it be in China, New Zealand, Mesoamerica, or the Swiss Lake. California has its own jade culture, too. And even though it's newer, it's very strong. Just look at these sculptures from the legendary George Schmerholtz, an award-winning master carver in the jade arts. Featuring Guatemalan blue and lilac, rough, polished jewelry and sculptures is none other than Jesse Stout of Mayan Mountain, who was also featured in our Ultimate Jade Tour the Tucson Gem Shows video. From affordable jewelry all the way to one-of-a-kind collector's items, Mayan Mountain is known for their beautiful and natural jadeite jade from Guatemala, a stone that was once lost to history until being rediscovered in the 20th century. That's good stuff. Mayan Mountain began in 2009 in Honduras, where 10% of the company's profits now go to in support of Casita Copan, a non-profit children's center that provides homes for the abandoned and orphaned children of Copan Ruinas. Mayan Mountain is a glowing example of how the gem and jade industry impacts economies and individuals all over the world. If you know Justin Barrett from Just In Jade, who we'll feature later in this video, this is his mom. She found us and guided us to the George Schmerholtz Jade Carving and Natural Stone Exhibition in Stanton Center at the Custom House Plaza where the festival is held. Welcome guys. So this is our first annual George Schmerholtz Jade Exhibition. It's a combination of carvings 
and natural stones. And uh, George is our, the person of honor for us. This is one of the pieces that he carved, and this is a duality of a natural stone with a carving. What's great about this exhibition is that it features brand new carvers who are just starting out, as well as experts such as Deborah Wilson and Matt Glasby. The pieces are displayed as if they're in a museum. And truthfully, a lot of these pieces are even better than jade I've seen in museums. This was the first year of the event and it is only going to grow and get better. You might recognize Alfredo the Octo, carved by Shane Zach of Freshwater Jade, from our interview with Mike Weber about the Monterey Bay Jade Festival, which I'll link to below. These natural stones have been found by divers and jade hunters. This white cobble was actually found in Hotan, which is known as the source of the highest quality mutton fat jade in the world. As you can see, the event was quite busy as everyone wanted to examine each piece, which all look better in person as the camera certainly cannot do them justice. One of the biggest highlights of the event was seeing Luke Miller's Guatemalan Blue Jadeite Jade. To fit? Yeah. Looks really good. Luke brought rough stones, sculptures, bangles, jewelry, and icy blue jade beads. I want to take a moment and explain why it's worth traveling to Monterey for this event. It might only be a three-day weekend festival, but it is truly an immersive experience. The event is next to a marina and a pier with amazing restaurants, offering delicious food and unparalleled views. The Monterey Bay Jade Festival is truly a destination, and I hope you'll strongly consider visiting the next one. Ryan Spangler of California Jade Carvings is known for his contemporary and nature-inspired carving style and offers a variety of jewelry in a wide range of prices. Dylan Carr of Jade Coast Jewelry had some attention-grabbing necklaces combining jade and pearl, two of my it's favorite gemstones. Combo. It really is. Man. Great display. I love yeah. Yeah, the use wood. of the wood and everything. Wood makes it. I was excited to see Dylan selling jade jewelry in both sterling silver and yellow gold, a fine metal for elevating the material and showing jade the respect it deserves. Top Stoneworks was selling jade from a variety of origins, but what surprised me was their supply of Himalayan jade, one of the lesser known sources of nephrite jade. I'm not sure if I had ever heard of it, so you know, you learn something new every day. This is Marina Shoup. You may know her as an admin on the Facebook group Friends of Jade 2.0. She organizes the Zoom sessions for the International Jade Forum where jade professionals from all over the world connect to share their knowledge about jade. She is an incredible resource in this industry and an absolutely delightful person. I was 
very excited to meet Steven Sednick in person, who has a stellar portfolio on his Instagram page, The Seventh Stone. Definitely give him a follow. Justin Barrett of Just In Jade is a jade diver and carver near Big Sur, California, but he also sells jade from other origins. Indonesia. This is oh, Indonesia? Interesting, because we've, we've talked some Indonesian stuff that I haven't really seen. What is this? Cassiar? Cassiar. Okay, this. This one I might have to look twice at. Oh, oh really? That's Big Sur. That's Big Sur? Yeah, that's in the wrong, the wrong thing. So Big Sur can be... Oh. I'm wearing some Siberian. They're beautiful. Thank you. What about the pendant? Same. Siberian, same stone. Love it. David Clayton of jadecarver.com is known as a supplier of jade carving tools, which can be found on his website. See the link in the description. The festival was larger than we expected, so we were excited to see food and coffee trucks. And the live music helped us get in a jade buying mood. This booth was such a treat, and they had so many unique things, including these jade cups. Those are so cool. Oh my Oh, it's okay. I just walked too long. I got. Nephrite jade is the official state gemstone of Wyoming and can still be found alluvially today. It's said that the highest quality black nephrite jade in the world is Edwards black jade from Wyoming. Wyoming has been known to produce some very bright green nephrite jades and some Wyoming material is celebrated for the presence of pseudomorph crystals. Of the jades, Wyoming nephrite tends to be very distinctive and is even honored at the Wyoming Jade Festival every August in Jeffrey City, Wyoming. Wyoming jade is the only jade in the world that has quartz crystals in it. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Now that's Siberian. Oh, this is Siberian. That's Siberian. I got this is Siberian and then that piece there is Siberian. This one here? Yep. Oh, wow. Like pie. Yeah. Amazing. This is Burmese. 
Very cool. And this is, this is a wind slick. Actually, it's done in the river. There's Roger Murph's Tree oil from California. Yes. Moss it and you have moss it sit beads. Are the beads? Wow. I haven't seen moss it sit beads. Me neither. And it's a dragon. And it, you can see the dragon now. Yeah. Okay, and on the back is the Chinese Ling So. They usually have it on a, on a uh, buckle or, or wow. sign of sign yeah. royalty stuff. You know, like big shots. <laughs> so this, that's where that curve is. It's real hard, you know, it's really detailed. Amazing. And you don't see that in Masitsa very often. I've never seen that in Masitsa. It's Burmese. It's incredible. Yeah. Beautiful. So, it's one that I... Market pass is somewhere like $20 a gallon, but yeah, yeah. Some of these special all wet pebbles. And that's Hotan, the middle, the elongated oval? Yeah. Do you know how much that one is? Uh, $150 for that one. Really? Yep. All of this footage was recorded at the 2023 Monterey Bay Jade Festival, which consisted of 50 vendors, a jade carving and natural stone exhibition, and a Friends of Jade dinner. Monterey Bay Jade Festival is a project of Jade Events Unlimited and a 501c3 nonprofit organization. The proceeds from the Friends of Jade dinner were donated to the schools that serve the children of Palo, Colorado, Big Sur Valley, and the south coast of Big Sur. If you'd like to learn more about sponsorship opportunities or attending the festival, visit MontereyBayJadeFestival.org. And if you want to see more videos like this, stick around and watch the ultimate jade tour of the Tucson Gem Shows.